Now let's talk about priority encoders. Priority encoders are very useful when it comes to you know connecting devices which are having priority. So for like this, assume that it is a 4 by 2 priority encoder and this is i3, i2, i1, i0 and these are the devices, devices are connected to this each one. Hmm? There is a device connected to this and device connected to this, device connected to this and device connected to this, right? And now, uh, whenever uh, this any device reads the service, they are going to raise a signal. So, which means if this device needs the service, it is going to say 1. And if this device needs the you know, signal, it is going to service, it is going to say 1, right? And if they don't need, now 0, 0. Now, when two devices are raising the signal that they wanted the you know service, then we should identify which one should be given the priority. Now, which one should be provided the service? Then what we decide is any device which is connected to the highest uh, suffix input is going to have the highest uh, this priority. Which means we uh, we send a signal to the CPU the address of this device, right? So, 1 1 represents the address of this device, which means the one which is connected to I1 needs the service. Then, appropriately, CPU will service this device first, right? So, in case if I3 is 0 and if this is the case, then what will be generated? 1 0, saying that the device 2 wants the service. And in this case, if I1 is also deriving, you know, generating the signal, interrupt service, interrupt signal, then which one will be taken uh, priority is I2 itself, right? So depending on this and even if I0 is also given 1, then still I2 will get the priority. Therefore, whichever is having the highest suffix, then uh, if that particular device generates a sig signal, then the output will be specifying the number of that device. Which means if you have many, many devices which are going to generate the signal at the same time and if you are supposed to choose only one device, then priority encoder is going to be uh, very, very useful. See this? So this is the characteristic table. It says that if you have four inputs and two outputs are there and if the highest input is uh, I1 which means I3, so which means whenever I3 equal to 1, so uh, which one should be given highest priority? The third one, right? The third input. So the output will be 1, 1 and if you see this, when you are, when you are seeing I3 equal to 1, you don't care about the remaining inputs, that is enough. Whenever I3 equal to 1, you need not care about whether the signal is given by the other inputs or not. You just say the output as 1, 1, which means we are giving highest priority to I3 and whenever I3 equal to 1, we don't see the others at all. And similarly, whenever I, I3 is 0 and I2 equal to 1, then uh, now the highest priority, highest uh, you know, priority signal is I2, then we don't care about the remaining, remaining inputs. Similarly, here highest priority is I1, then we don't care about it. That is how I formed this characteristic equation. Now, let us see how to realize it. So, what are the functions that are, you know, output in terms of input? So, what is B1? If you watch B1, see this, B1 is 1 and 1 here, which means B1 is supposed to, uh, you know, take care of these two terms, isn't it? This one and this one, right? Now, how can you write this one? This one is I3 is 1 and all the others can be 0 or 1. Therefore, you need not take them into consideration at all. They can be anything. Therefore, you can write this one as one term which is I3 itself. You can directly write it as I3. The reason is whenever I3 equal to 1, B1 equal to 1. That is why I am writing it like this. right? And I do not care about the remaining. So, therefore, you need not add them. If you add them, unnecessarily you had to you know, put in more terms. right? Then what about this one? The, this one says whenever I2 equal to 1 and I3 equal to 0, right? Which means whenever I2 equal to 1 and I3 equal to 0. So, why is this one added is? So, in case if I3 equal to 0, then you check the I2 bit. So, in case if I2 equal to 1, then again this one is 1. That is how, you know, these two are representing I3 plus this one. Now, you know that by the, you know, by simplification, how what we get is, you just distribute this i3 over that uh, dot plus over dot then what do we get we get it is i2 plus i3 right so simply b3 b1 is nothing but a or gate isn't it now check about b0 so how can we write b0 so b0 is here and here right these two terms so what does that mean 
so b not equal to 1 whenever i3 equal to 1 otherwise b not equal to 1 in this combination so what does it want this say this says that b i3 equal to 0 and i2 equal to 0 then i1 so which means you can write it like this right i3 equal to 0 and then i2 equal to 0 but i1 equal to 1 so in this case you are going to get b not equal to 1 now what you could do is you can distribute it over that so what do we get we get i3 plus i2 prime i1 so this is the equation for b naught it is simple realization right using one or you can realize this and it, it can be realized using and or realization right so it is a simple gate understood this that is how we get realize it and then uh, you know it can be extended to any number so you can even go for 8 by 3 so in 8 by 3 how does it look like you will have 8 inputs and then two outputs and all the inputs will be like this don't care don't care don't care don't care i7 and whenever i7 is there there you see 1 1 1 right and next one is don't care don't care don't care 1 0 and whenever that is so it will be 6 1 1 0 right the same logic can be extended got it so what is the main difference between priority encoder and non-priority encoder is uh, at priority encoder you can give many signals simultaneously at the input but then in non-priority we are not supposed to give more than one input because it doesn't know which one to take but then here we are clearly specifying if you have more than one options you specifically choose this which is having highest suffix got it so these are the advantages of encoders